Dream Mirror always lives, so no okay, in the world. Ooh. Nice time. We just kill her for free. Wait, this is so sick. I, I honestly, I feel like I've, I've written something off of my bucket list after this game. A stage, end of stage two egg, huh? Taking a lobby for merchants. Fogo. Just slamming anything on stage two with the egg hatch. Um, I mean, I was still thinking something affects my board on stage two. I, I never care enough to make the egg hatch, or like, I never care enough to wait around to see what egg, the egg hatches because the egg hatching isn't gonna affect my items too much. I would say. Work. Oh wait, it's it's, uh, it's dark star, right? You ever just dark star it? Oh, you probably do. I played six clockwork though. Let's take this. I'm gonna try to get into six clockwork. If we go six clockwork, Draven, it's pulling. But you don't always slam an item on two one. You slam an item on two one if an item does something on your board on two one. Wait, do you do you think they built different? Do you think built built different when they when we're guaranteed to get a tome? <laughs> Interesting. We hit a Quinn Pogo. This is good. What I'm thinking we do. We play on the Quinn or we play on the Warwick. Find me a path. Swain Ziggs might be a little bit better. I think Quinn's a little more front line than the Warwick, to be honest. I think BT on frontline Quinn here actually makes a difference. Should buy just enough time for Caitlyn to get Nulk off. Oh, unless they're Caitlyn Nulk's might. Okay. <laughs> they have built different. Never mind. I need to put a unit in front of her. Evidently. Interesting. Very interesting. I mean, I'm down. I'm also down to put items on her, I think. I don't really like BT on her, though. Eh. On Deathblade, then. Maybe it was Deathblade. Are they go BT Sword on this thing? Uh, Warwick's like. So let's look at stats real quick. I, I shouldn't need to slam the BT on anyone here. So he's 45, or he's 40 armor, 40 MR, 900 HP. She's 550 HP, 20 armor, 20 MR, but her ability is. Her ability is. Uh, Disables people, right? So he's like, he is tankier. She has a better ability that like makes you know tankiness, but um, I don't know, it's probably it's probably Warwick. I didn't actually realize how much better his base stats are. 900, 550. It's a lot. <laughs> it's actually a lot. What the hell? I don't want to slam BT on. This guy. I mean, I will want a BT eventually on a thick clockwork board. For sure, I want a defensive item. Um, I'm probably never rerolling Ash here, so I'm not too worried about it being like a little redundant on an Ash board. Deathblade is pretty strong here, too, though. If I wanted to do Deathblade Dread Ends, Sword. Draven has a lot of base AD now, right? So I is definitely better than Deathblade. I I can do runes. Another cloak feels really weird though. Another cloak feels very strange. But it's a three cost, and it's not bad as long as I don't get like really shitty stuff. This guy's interesting. I really don't want to be playing around these guys anymore. These snipers, rogue students. Do you want tank here? Maybe not actually. Oh wait, this Warwick also has a um a toe. That's well, he has 900 HP because he has a spell and he's 100 HP. So he has 750 HP normally. Um, so he has 200 more HP. Or, yeah, he has 200 more HP than Quinn on average. I see. Or not on average, but like without an item. 
at one star, which sounds a lot more reasonable than like basically double her HP. Double BT. <laughs> that sounds way more reasonable. This board is fucking awful, by the way. <laughs> it's the time for the Renata on this board. Oh man. I can't really drop anything. I, I can't really drop anything. We'll just we'll just vibe. I am not playing this Renata, am I? This is never my level up. This board looks so bad. Not that much. It's probably worse, to be honest. Bucket level? I don't even have enough gold to level. <laughs> I'm a poor boy. I'm a poor young lad. Oh, my Caitlyn also got... Dude, my Caitlyn always casts again. I'm like playing against two built different Caitlyns. But, you know. Down for another Clockwork Spat. I, I really wanted to play around Innovators early game with this Clockwork Spat, because I had that Ezreal, but I haven't actually seen any Innovators. I mean, we ended up playing around the Snipers anyways, but we need some Frontline. Excuse me? Excuse me, more dog? I just got cloak, cloak. I'm gonna get another cloak here. Oh no. I wanna play around these guys. Okay, wait, we're actually in a really good spot all of a sudden. I got cloak, cloak. Man, this game is great. I fucking love this game. I love TFT, man. I actually don't just sell this Kate list as Ash. I it's it's like kind of turbo bad, no? Do I ever just make GA on this guy and go double defensive item? Nice. I always want the items on this guy is the kind of biggest issue there. I have to make a declaw. I mean, I, I definitely have to make a declaw. So, go off, King. <laughs> but thank you, Theresa. Appreciate it. Trinimir did get buffed. You ever just make Edge of Night? Probably not, huh? Probably not. You probably, I mean, you can make Edge of Night, I guess. Edge of Night Rans actually isn't too bad here, is it? It's actually not too bad at all. Maybe it is Edge of Night. I just go like super heavy vertical challenger. I'm down for that. I don't need to slam it. I mean, I'm kind of slam until it actually makes a difference. Because I feel like I'd rather just IE QSS or something, but you know. Then what do I do with the chain? It's kind of the issue. Nice. I get fucked by armor as well. Could be still probably in Zac. I guess it could be. Wouldn't feel amazing. A little poor, but I'm playing two star trends, so I'm I'm fine. I have plenty of direction, and I've already hit a lot of the stuff that I need to hit. I'm down for one, plus one more challenger. I'm just call it a day. Nice edge. That's amazing. That's pretty fucking amazing here. You start Rex I want to just put on that guy. That means I'm really comfortable going edge uh, rune ends, I think. I'm like pretty comfortable going edge rune ends. I mean, it's only silver, admittedly. But there's not a ton of armor in the lobby. And I'll have so much base AD being a three star unit with, uh, yeah, assuming I reroll. Rune ends looks really, really good in general here. I think we'll do edge rune ends. Edging Trin, hot. And we'll see if we need to slam into this next fight. It's not going to kill any more units than we can kill any otherwise, then it's not a big point. Let's see. Okay, this is a fight where we want edge. 100%. We're double edging Trin. <laughs> Alright, Caitlyn gets to ult pretty quickly. Or auto attacks a lot of damage. Yeah, we're in a good spot. 
pretty comfortable. It ended up being okay, because we hit pretty two. I have three, well, two big pairs, big-ish pairs. This is, I think, a little bit bigger. This unit's just good to play. If you have a Draven, the gate's auto is kind of fuck here. <laughs> just infinite damage. So if you really want Runans, uh, Quill can also be something else or someone else. But you can do, like, a QSS on, like, uh, on Caitlyn for now and, like, put it on Draven just let him sit in the front few rows, kind of unimpeded. That's what we're going to do. Definitely not taking Cloak or Chain. I've had enough Cloaks this game. <laughs> I've had more than enough cloaks this game, man. In the 4 4 2 comp. It's going to be 6 challenger. For sure. The idea is we get to 7 and we reroll on 7. This turns into Quinn, we play Draven. We keep playing this. Challenger spend up on this. Might down to slam QSS, yeah. I think I should get a chance on him down to slam QSS already. It's going to be a pretty insane item for the Draven. What are the chances I get? I mean, I'm. And we'll see if it does something. I want to corner her. Why do I need to bring her back? I don't really need her there. I guess she gets blitz hooked. Yeah, I should really bring the Camille back a little bit more. Just to make these Sin matchups even a little bit better. Oh, is she getting frozen hard because the QSS slam happened after? It's... Wait. I feel like her attack speed is really slow, like Caitlyn's. Is she didn't kill anything, maybe, is the reason. Yeah, QSS will be a good item for a secondary carry here. I think we didn't allow E3 yet. I have not seen it. I have not seen it allow E3 yet. I don't know if I can win this. I think I can. Morello's damage went down. This matchup's a little tough as well. But I should always put him in the back. So Talon goes on Camille. Caitlyn should get nulled off. Camille ult, right? Oh, and Intel gets Zach. That's so good for me. Oh, that's super good for me. I mean, Caitlyn just gets to do her thing for a bit. I think I think uh, this guy can clean up. Okay, you got CC. Never mind. He's not cleaning up shit. Oh, and Lex? No. Oh. 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 That's unfortunate. Let's go. That Nico. Okay, I'm gonna report one of those. <laughs> Unless I just want to show you. Oh my god. Holy high roll. What the fuck? You ever just blue Draven? You ever showed it? I mean, I always report one. Bro. Smart dog, please! Oh no, you ever showed in the Quinn here? What do you do with the rod though? Ice items? I, I, I mean, not even. <laughs> I don't give a shit about Kaisa this game. I played Quinn 1 over Kaisa 1 any day on this board. I probably just have to not. I mean, none of the items do anything except for Shojin, but it uses my sword and I can't play around broad. And I can make a Rage Blade, but it's pretty bad. Shojin Morello Quinn is not. No. I don't need Morello on this board. I kill it really, really quickly. I, I don't really need. I mean, if I got Sunfire, I, I, the only anti heal I really look for here is like a Sunfire board. The thing with Kaiso and Gunblade is that the fights are really quick and she'd probably just die. Wouldn't really. Like, these items are just kind of worthless. I, I like Rage Blade, if I win anything it would, with this rod, it'd be a JG for Trindamir or Draven. Rage Blade is, like, pretty low impact. I want some, some big DPS right out of the gates that, that helps scale my Knife's Edge damage. Which, like, like the problem with Rage Blade is that this guy's just going to get CC'd. I could do it on this guy, but, like, the fights are so quick. Lock is not terrible. Doesn't really solve my issue of not having their carry, though. I mean, I think I know it's always sword in the sky. I do Shojin Trindamir. Fuck it. <laughs> Is it time for the king? The god of TFT himself, Shojin Trindamir? Oh. Oh. Well, you did no damage there. I like to level up before clockwork, maybe? But I probably need to roll on the soul. Hmm. I won't put any XP in yet. I'll troll my Draven in harm's way there. I can always have him, like, here. 
I do want Windy and Ice Edge, but it's probably not worth it. I want someone to take the, the Sins off of Draven. Right? Yeah, I need someone to take the Sins off Draven. Trojan Warrior the new buffs. The problem with Trojan Warrior is that I didn't have to go 8. And then, I got to, I got to go 8 pretty quickly here. To get to the Ori to fit her. And then it just gets, it makes everything really awkward. So I want to be rolling on Sapphire Trend, ideally. If I get enough Trends, I can go to 8 and then roll there. But then I'm also running, like, Shojin Chandra Spat Ori. Um, over, like, a third item on Trindamir, and my damage is pretty low. Even if I do have a little bit of extra CC. So we'll see. And yeah, I would need to drop Rek'Sai for a fourth pop, which is why I'd have to level. But I would drop Rek'Sai plus, uh, plus something for... Or Rek'Sai for Ori plus, like, Zillion or Jin. That would be the Ori route. Let's see what we get for an item here. I mean, Umbrella's on a Kaisa wouldn't be, like, the worst thing in the world. IU would be the best for this spot, probably. Must pick, though. I go Rabidon's Draven. I can just go Fro- Okay, what if I do Frozen Heart Trend here? Okay, I probably can just level. I have plenty of, uh... We won't level immediately, but we have plenty of Trinity Mirrors. We just go Frozen Heart Trend. Call it a day. Locket's also very playable. I'll just go Locket for now. Not terrible. Playing around these components isn't bad either. I think the chain feels good. Alright. That might just be a level goal. Okay. Let us see. We hit, I mean, we've been really lucky to find the Trinity Natural because it means that we can actually just go 8 and then be able to find an Oriana, etc, etc. Not the worst fight of all time. Any means. I have Clockwork Spat. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. The Clockwork Spat the Trindamir. And take, okay, it, it's like, it's a, it's obviously not a Chemtech Unity, but it sounds so much more interesting than Chemtech Unity, does it not? Wait, I'm so down. This is stupid as fuck, but I'm so down. You actually don't know how down I am for this. <laughs> it is time! This is our last trend item, and we go show Nori. It's fucking time. It is time, baby. Whoosh. Whoosh. I, I think this has been, I feel like this has been something that I've wanted to do the entire set and I've never been able to do it once. This, this is fucking sick. I've, I've always, like, I think there's always been that, like, like you know, wet dream moment this, this augment where you get a clockwork spat and you go on clockwork. Oh, he's doing zero damage. It's a bodyguard spat echo. Okay, I, I'm going in. <laughs> I'm going eight. I don't do damage. This would be really good in a less uh less um defensively built Rindamir, I feel like. It's still very cool though. This is not now Rage Blade would actually felt really cool on him as well. It's still very sick, and you know what? It'll work out, trust. It'll work out. It'll work out. We're going to be playing uh, not Zillion now. We're going to be playing Jin and Ori on level up over this guy. And it'll be sick. We're actually going to sell this guy now. Because no bitch. Okay. The kind of reasoning is that we do have a lot of damage in our augment and in our uh, in our synergies. So maybe he'll do enough damage regardless. But we'll see. I can also just remake him with Runance. Really not a bad idea. Or he's big as Zeke's. Essentially. Kaisa. What if this it's super hard remaking with this item though? Because what if the wrong thing pops off? So, I'm gonna skip something I really want. I roll nice and slowly. I have plenty of HP. So nice and slowly, not skip my Oriana that I inevitably hit because why wouldn't I hit Oriana here? Opium. Because why wouldn't I hit Oriana here? He hit. Oh. Wait, I don't have a Jin. Ah, oh, fuck. I think that's Kai's that I probably should be playing. I think I should make a Brunettes. 
Okay, here it was kind of sick, no? Okay, here it was actually- Oh, it got still good. Oh. Oh. Oh, we're, we're chilling. No, Queen is definitely better than Kai'Sa. The Queen is 100% better than Kai'Sa. I should probably just sell the Kai'Sa, huh? Or one off Trindamir. Hit Jin. Maybe hit Trin. Um, okay. Let me kill this guy. Do I want to try to put Renan's on him? I really don't. It's potentially really bad. Probably put this in the front. Just make it Zephyr, right? Oh no. That Caitlyn, or that, that MF is gonna fucking, yeah, I just one shot my entire team. I did not scout at all. Monka. Oh, pause trip? No, we're dead. Not too bad though. Yeah, that's a scout tip. That's okay. My bad. My bad. This is, I mean, okay. I, I know it's weaker than it would have been, right? If I didn't do, um, I know it's a little bit weaker than it could have been if I, if I did not take this augment and play this Trinity around him, but I will say it's too fucking sick to not. <laughs> this is literally, this is like the wet dream. The wet dream board. Or he's probably worth keeping the second row, right? Yeah. You know, I probably. I'm sorry, Jen. I probably just do this. <laughs> I'm sorry, brother. I, I don't mean to do you like that, but sometimes it has to be done. Oh, he's still alive, actually. Look at him go. Wait, this is kind of sick. The Jin actually lived long enough to do something that fight as well. He did 1,600 damage. <laughs> Not bad. I'm down for another Clockwork Spat. I'm so down for another Clockwork Spat, and I just played Zillion at 9. I'd be so down. One time? Oh, BG. Unfortunate. Bad game. Go next. It's fine. Shiv. Nah, it's nothing for what's-her-face. This isn't bad. This is actually probably the best. I don't have any AP on her, but it does affect her physical damage a lot as well. With the crit chance, the crit damage. And it makes her, if she does the crit, like, she just fucking kills everyone. She's 90 mana. That's disgusting. I think this locket is not very good. Her positioning around this up heavily is not very good. I think this goes a little better. I like Kaisa. Oh, don't, don't. No, man. I knew it was going to happen like that, too, Sag. Alright, we have Edge of Night, though, so we can't lose this matchup. It's the Edge of Night thing. Use Bow. Use Bow when I find someone I want to use Bow on. Look who would be the next unit. I use Bow on this guy, I guess. I want to use Bow on this guy. He's going to be itemizing next. Okay, this is the fight where I need to not do this. And this fight is probably not worth it. <laughs> to get Knife's Edge value on all these guys. Maybe this guy. I didn't move. I didn't move. I was gonna move last second. I didn't move. That's fine. Streamer always lives, so what he's doing in the world. Ooh. It's time! We just kill her for free. Wait, this is so sick. I I honestly I feel like I've I've written something off of my bucket list after this game. I feel like I can just write this whole game off. Like, this was definitely a bucket list kind of game, right? This was 100% a bucket list kind of game. Z where the Trindamir, yeah. <laughs> Dio looking ass. <laughs> Sheesh. I really need another clockwork spat. So I can clockwork out this guy and go six clockwork. Agreed. Clockwork spat, best in slot, last thought, last item for this spot. 100%. Okay, I apologize, Jin, but you are so going in the front line, brother. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but you are so did he sacrifice to the gods this fight. 
you, you yeah no i mean you i'm sorry man it's just how it is brother it's just how it is brother godspeed <laughs> godspeed king oh he's living oh he's being living being living big living i didn't even see bing chilling man what a fight what a fight. Get Jin now. He's kind of all the items back in the day. Now, yeah, now he's just a fucking synergy bot. That I solo front line. Or that I front line for, uh. <laughs> he's a synergy bot that I front line to take the blow. Every single fight. Oh, so I think is actually really good here. I can just play as, so. uh. Yeah, Ori. I mean, Ori's doing big DPS on this board. They're not actually going to have DPS there as well. Let's get the Seri instead of the MF. Oh, actually, get either. Boach. I mean, Draven's dead. Sorry, Draven. Good luck next life, King. This Ori just pounds people, though, I will say. Uh, I'm a little worried about how little... Ooh, that Ori was a little bad. <laughs> that Ori was a little ratchet, though. I feel like that wasn't the best Ori of all time. She opened behind them. I can look for their gin. The stage is set. I might as well suffer. I think I could lose this fight if I don't suffer it. So, I, as much as I want to save it for the actual player, it's probably better to just do it now and call it a day. Nice guess is dead. Dude, it is literally just Dio Trindamir. This is sick. <laughs> this is so cool. Uh, Popworks fat one time. Oh. 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 Dies a fetch. Absolutely dies a fetch. Absolutely dies a fetch, man. I'm just gonna keep rolling then, like a sad person who does sad rolls. I'm gonna put Quinn up here. Should keep the uh, the Zyra ult in this row. It's a little bit better for me. Silco might be better than this. Probably is better than this, but I'm gonna do this anyways. I'm gonna keep doing this. Yeah, they keep letting me Zephyr their Galio. I'm gonna do it. If they keep letting me Zephyr their Galio, I'm just gonna keep doing it. Okay, here we go. It's time. Oh, Kaisa's still living. Oh, she's dead. <laughs> They took my challenger spam, but for what? For what? Oh, seven. Okay, I'm just gonna keep all these guys in the back for this fight. <laughs> I don't really want this this thing walk off my whole team. I just do an infinite. I didn't move. Nice. <laughs> I didn't move. Fuck yeah. I got Zeri though, which is pretty good. Alright, Trin, play the game. Do it, my friend. Okay, they're do oh, why'd you walk up that far? Oh, we're fine. Oh, th th dude, this game is too fun. <laughs> this game is actually way too sick. Oh man, I was really hoping for a clockwork spat here. Unfortunate. Yeah, four fun patches off to a banging start, agreed. Zahabordo. <laughs> Holy. Oh shit, a remover? Oh, I can get the 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 Hey, we're not in Kaisa 2 though, so Kaisa is not better than the Quinn. Man. I guess I'll take this. But I really want this over any of these. I didn't move again. I keep not moving, man. I could have just removed the Zephyr and, and been fine. Oh, wait, they moved it back into it. Or no, they didn't. I just put it here. It's fine, regardless. 
I don't know why I keep moving. I'm trying to move the last second, and I just keep not moving at all. Oh, wow, the MF just dies for free. That's a little frustrating for them, huh? <laughs> okay, who doubted? Who doubted that Trinity was not going to be sick? Or who doubted that Trinity was going to be sick? I cannot believe we actually saw the clockwork stat broken stopwatch wet dream.